So today we have an Xbox 360 S in white with a 250 gig hard drive and it's not operating properly. Red ring of death. But it's not a ring. It's more like a blinking red light with a loud fan and then it turns off. We're going to have to do some research on this and find out what this could be. Magic. Dude, do you ever clean your desktop? No, I just add another monitor. And it begins! Dun dun dun! Let's see what it says. Overheating, which makes sense because Ew. or you know it could be anything else. Ha! But the creators say, let the console cool down. Your console doesn't have enough ventilation. The red light will continue to blink. And that fan sounds loud, so I'm assuming it's caked up with dust or broken. Let's get this thing apart. Ah, the tried and true Xbox 360S. That's one of my favorite consoles, and uh, it'll always be a legend. Let's get her open, see if we can clean her up. She a dirty girl. Need that Orbit Fresh Mint. Ha! 250 gig hard drive. That's a dark, dark place. We don't go there, Simba. Tell me you need to clean your desk without telling me you need to clean your desk. Ugh. First things first, let's get this faceplate off. Just kidding. First things first, let's get these great vents off. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Trusty screwdriver. <laughs> what? <laughs> Take two. My trusty cleaning toothbrush. Gross. All right, that looks a little better. Let's continue opening this. Fucking flipper. Um. Uh. <laughs> what fell? <laughs> oh, sorry, little guy. Let's get you out of there. He's sad we never use him. We use flash drives. Let's continue cleaning. I haven't taken one of these apart in a long time, and uh, it's gonna take me a minute. Three hours later. After watching a uh, wrong video on how to take this thing apart, the guy didn't do it the right way. The way easier way to do it. So now we got this part open. Let's flip it to the bottom. Oh my god, the dust falling out of this when I flipped it over. Not good. Let's get this white one off. In there, just put this in there. This is the right way to do it. Just pop up. Preferably from the side that's not those clips so you don't break them. Here. Oh. We really need something long and fat to get in that clip right there instead of a screwdriver. So we're going to try these pliers. Oh, we got it. We're under the clip. Just a little pop there of that clip. There we go. One side's up. Let's get the other side. Boop. Oh my god, this thing is so dusty. That one's off. Looks like that one still might be on. Yep, bingo. Ta da! Look at this freaking thing. Oh my god. Look at the dust in there. Gross! Ugh. Clean your garage. You can't pull off the warranty label. Well, actually, who needs that label? Well, that took a minute, but we pulled it apart hard enough and it exploded. No clips are broken. Thank you to those who served. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. All right, we've gotten this far so far. Let's keep going. Ow, my nails hurt. I've been prying with them. Now we have to take out these black screws in order to get the bottom piece of casing off the Xbox. Let's get to it. Oh. 
me a T9. There it is. T9 security bit. Locked and loaded. Ooh. Fast forward time. Looks like we need to take this off. The Wi-Fi module. This isn't USB. This is advanced USB. Oh, gross. Let's get it cleaned up and put some new thermal paste on that CPU. Time to use the handy dandy toothbrush. Boing. Ah, what a sound. What a sound. Fan trout looking a lot better. Let's get the fan off. All right, uh, we're gonna use a bigger tool for this. Let's switch the other weapon. It's faster than reloading. Had to remove the SATA. These two screws right there to unplug the fan. Now we can clean this disgusting bad Larry up. When I was cleaning the fan, these two black screws kept like fell out of the fan while I was brushing it. If the fan was spinning really loud, maybe it was not spinning and getting stuck on these screws. And maybe that's why it was overheating, plus the dust. Let's uh, get this heat sink off and clean off that thermal paste and put some new thermal paste on. Well, oh, that clip just fell out. But it's okay. I know where it goes. Let's get these four screws out to get that heat sink off. Of course, they make them a T8 and not a T9 like the rest of them. And it's not security bit, just so you know. Of course, we had to take out the rest of the screws. All right, so fast forward a little bit. Boom! We got it off. It was a pain in the ass. Fucking dirty as hell. Have this stupid clip on it on the bottom that hooks around these O-ring type thing type openings on the bottom of here, kind of like a nozzle in your car for your air air hoses. And you have to put a little screwdriver in the little groove and prop them all out. It was a pain. Now let's get this thing cleaned up and put back together. We'll fast forward a little bit so you don't have to watch that painstaking process. And we're going to test this thing out. God, that's so gross. Gross! Bingo, look at that. All clean. And the heat sink's also all clean. So now let's get some Arctic MX-6 on there. Some good thermal paste. Don't put too much. About the size of a pea, right in the middle, or you can do a little line from there, from like the O to the empty space between the three and the X. Not much, don't need much. That's it, that's all you need. Beautiful. Now well, let's get that heatsink installed. That heatsink goes on a lot easier than it fucking came off, I'll tell you what. Well, we're back in place. All right, we got that screwed back in. And after an hour of painstaking BS, there she is in all her glory, back together. It never had this cover, so don't ask, and I missed a piece. One second. What are you doing over here, buddy? Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. Locked and loaded. Let's go test her out. Moment of truth. <sighs> well, don't that suck? <laughs>